How's it going guys? It's been a minute. Um, I've been off of YouTube. I just got a new warehouse. Um, it's a lot bigger and the last two, three months I've been focused on filling this up, getting it organized and just uh, getting in the mojo of a new warehouse and all that. So that's the main reason why I've been off. But uh, my goal is always to go hard on YouTube and recently I've been getting a lot of traction on the channel, been getting a lot of support on my Instagram, a lot of DMs, a lot of comments on this, um, on the past two videos that I posted and we're uh, I think 760 subscribers within two videos. So it's going very well. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little rundown of the new warehouse. Um, and I'm actually gonna show you guys kind of what I'm doing today. It's a Saturday. Um, I'm putting up a few things here just to make it look a little nicer. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I run the operation in here real quick. I'm not gonna do any sourcing videos. I'm gonna show you guys something because I just need to post on here. Uh, I haven't been active whatsoever. So I'm just gonna start throwing up videos and uh, eventually I'm gonna get in the real groove of uh, getting getting uh, like a good structure going, but at least I need to throw something on here and uh, keep yeah. you guys up to date. My worker just got done with all these packages. It's about 50 on the Saturday. Um, we're gonna start shipping on the weekends because I don't want it to be too packed up on Monday. Here we have a nice little mirror. I just put that up right now. Um, shipping station, scale right here. So we bring in the items right here in the cart that I have. Oh, right, there we go. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, we bring the cart right here. And uh, if I have a big item, throw it in there. Right here, I'm actually gonna go get some woods right now at the Home Depot and get a new picture background. So I'll show you guys right now while I'm at the Home Depot, like what kind of woods I have, me setting them up. I'm gonna just start showing you guys that kind of stuff, you know, uh, my day-to-day -day stuff. Here I have some items that I have ready for my worker. These are the ones that were left over. Bring them in right here to the left side of her, takes pictures of them, puts them in the box. So here's my shipping supply area. Got all kinds of stuff. These are priority flat rate envelopes. These bunch of those, um, mediums, larges, tape. Um, let's see, we have, uh, I get these thermal rolls. Rolls, they're 500 count. If you guys look at these, uh, the normal ones are like 250. These are 500. So if you guys wanna get these, they're a little more. But honestly, they're the move. And these are 4,000 of them. And I think I pay like 80 bucks for 4,000 labels. And that way you don't have to change them out constantly. I sell like 300, 400 items a week. So every uh, like five, six days, I have to change out the roll. But now since it's 500, it'll last me like almost two weeks. Or I don't know, something like that. But yeah, um, that's the shipping area room. I have my little break area right here. Um, I keep these, honestly, for personal use. It says don't use for personal use, but I, I throw items in here. Um, like these are clean right here. Um, and yeah, we'll put them over here and then we'll transfer them into the actual, um, you know, boxes. Right here is uh, my testing area, cleaning area. All these need to be clean. So we'll dump them on here, clean them up, throw them back in the bucket. They'll go over here. They'll be ready for the next day. And yeah. Uh, here, I'm gonna put some pictures up, you know, some posters, maybe a television here if I'm just cleaning on a Sunday and there's some football playing, you know, I can clean and watch the game or, you know, something, or if I need to plug in a VCR or something, I'm gonna get a little testing area for that. Have a strip there, have a bunch of hooks. I hooked these up myself, got them at the Home Depot. Um, Say so for all the cables, all kinds of cables that I have. So yeah, and uh, here I have a filing cabinet with a bunch of little stuff. But yeah, um, I use these right here to take a gunk off, a bunch of toothbrushes. This is the best spray you can ever find. You get it at the dollar store, Walmart. I buy big tubs of these and I refill these. Amazing. Got to have the black gloves. I buy these at the flea market. They're amazing. But yeah, that's that. Um, here it is. That's one office. Here, all these items are going to get processed soon. Just picked all these up. All this area right here is the new items that come in. So all this stuff, I just recently got it within the past month. Um, I buy, I get these boxes at a recycling place as well as like these and those that I have over there. So if you go to a, like a local recycling place to throw away recycling, like cardboard, like a lot of companies throw good boxes away. So if you, if you uh, sell receivers and bigger items like this, I've gone so lucky where I don't have to buy any more boxes and uh, you can go to a recycling place, pick some up for free and they're like durable boxes like industrial ones that companies use and you can get them for free. So 
yeah, my little tool box, tool box. Right now, what I'm gonna be doing actually is uh, moving all these racks forward. This is where I keep all my inventory. New inventory comes here. These racks get moved up. So what I'm gonna do is move these up three feet, all of these. And what I'm gonna do is, um, you see how this setup is right here with the tubs? Those are for like medium items. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, this is full of um, a loose big items. Those don't fit in any tubs, they're too heavy, all that stuff. So this row and this row will be like this, all mixed medium items so I can access it from both sides. So all this is gonna get moved up three feet. And then in this back row all the way over here, all this, I already bought the racks, bought five Costco racks. They're gonna go all the way down and it's gonna be like this. All tubs, all the way down. And that way it's gonna get moved up three feet. I can still come in with the ladder and uh, the racks come out right here. And I, all these, all I do with these is pull them up, look in there. This is kind of empty, I gotta refill that. But yeah, I pull them up, look in there. And these, I just pull up with the ladder, open them up. I don't gotta pull them out. So yeah, all this back row will be tubs and we're actually gonna do that today. Um, we're gonna move all this up, three feet, three feet. Right here, I wanted to put big items, but um, these racks were already here when, when I moved in, they're pretty dope. Um, but the thing is, they're too deep in there. If I put like, like a receiver on that in the back row and then another row of receivers, once I fill this up, it's going to be way too hard to kind of access it. You know, like, oh, what is over here? But then this is full too. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to put tubs here like that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, just like that. And kind of fill it up till right here and here up. I'm going to just throw in like shipping boxes and, and lighter stuff because it's, it's pretty tall. So this is already like, it's got to be like eight feet right here. And yeah, it goes up. But yeah. And, uh. Like I said, I get these at recycling plates just to store a bunch of items in there, like big, loose, bulky items. You know, I, I don't have enough racks to just hold stuff that it's going to be processed. So I put them in here, and then from here, I process them, and then they get thrown in either the tubs or the rack. I bought this basketball court. I'm going to set it up right here just so I get some shots up um, pretty much here all the time at the warehouse. So I'm going to put one right here and um, probably keep it like at eight feet nine feet i don't know if i'm eh, maybe 10 and i have a garage door that goes to the back there's like a little driveway back there and i could either roll it out get some shots up in the sun you know during the summer um i already have fans from last summer so this one's pretty good it was like 170 bucks uh, i'll show you my cooler right now this is a water cooler you connect a a hose to it and it's it's super cool like it goes all day you can even throw ice in there it was like $2,000, but in my other warehouse, there was no air conditioning, no tall ceilings like this. So, but it, it's going to help out a lot here and I'm glad I already bought it. I don't have to buy it anymore. It's, it's mine now. So yeah, these, so when I pull out items, pull them out, throw them in here, big items, I put them here and I bubble wrap them. I, I made this roll. My dad helped me out with this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I just bought these hooks from like closets, tube, and I put the... What's it called the bubble wrap. I'll show you real quick. Okay, so yeah, I just pull out this tube right here. Whenever I want to refill it, here I bought, I uh, put two kinds of bubble wrap. So I put the, the thicker one for the bigger items, and then on the other side, because it's big enough for two rolls, on the other side I put the thinner one. So I have one of each, and I just rotate it as I rub through it. So I just run, run it through right here, bam, and just hang it back up. That's it. And it's super convenient. I just made it, made it to where it fits perfectly. It doesn't doesn't hit or anything. And yeah, whenever I fill up the other one, I have more up there, right here. But this one, it'll be good for maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and then I'll fill up the other one. But yeah, this is where I ship. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have this little nail right here. Tape gun. There we go. And yeah. And here I keep like little markers and stuff like that in the filing cabinets here too. These are the spray bottles or the spray I was telling you guys about. It's a mess right now, but uh, right now here in a bit, my friend Gio is going to come and help me move all this up. It's 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 going to be a hassle. I've been putting it off, but it's time it's time to do it. So all these are full. These are eight feet, pretty much eight and a half, almost nine um, feet tall. All these are full. 
all this is full pretty much. So we're going to have to take them down, move them up, and put all the boxes back because they're just way too heavy. Um, there's like 35, 40 items per box. I mean, some have less, some have more, but it's really heavy. There's no way we could just yank them and move them. And the yellow totes, they're all full. So we're going to have to pull them out, pull all these out, pull all this out, all this, move it out, move it forward. You know, it's, it's going to be a hassle, but I'm going to record it just to get some content up. And yeah, um, eventually I'd like to create this room into like a production podcast setup room. Um, here I could set up, this mattress is already here, by the way. Now, sometimes I'd be taking a nap, though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm here late sometimes, or sometimes I'm just dead, I'm dead tired, so I just take a nap and push the mattress down, and I'll take a nap. But I could put a desk here or something, or over here, get a nice, you know, table set up, um, set up like a nice TV, get a nice podcast area going, um, get some LEDs around. Here I have my bike, so I can get my 25, 30 minutes of cardio in. It was a good investment. Um, and then with the basketball court, I'll just keep myself a little entertained, you know, while I'm here all the time. Um, but yeah, here, dirty towels, clean towels. I just throw these in the washer. Uh, I bought like, I don't know, five, 600 towels and I just reuse them now. I don't have to buy them anymore. And yeah, here, uh, I'd like to get like the pallet racks and just keep getting these kinds of boxes when I get like a bunch of items, bring them in my truck, throw them in the boxes and uh, get an electric pallet jack and just kind of stack them up right here and here just be for that kind of stuff. But yeah, low ladder, big ladder, just depends what I'm doing. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much why I haven't posted on YouTube uh, for the past three months. Um, now that I've seen some traction, I'm seeing um, some, you know, there's some potential with this. I'm definitely gonna go hard with it. You know, for me, I don't like, um, you know, one foot in, one foot out. I like going 110%. I've been 110% on eBay. So, you know, that's been my focus. But now I'm just going to have to get my priorities straight, you know, not mess around as much and incorporate YouTube into the into the equation. So, you know, I, I, there's we can always do something to, you know, maybe not watch the Netflix show. I can record right now. And uh, instead of watching Netflix later on at night, I could edit this and get it listed on, on a Sunday. So there's always something that we could do extra. We can always get five more listings up. We can always do more. We always can. There's there's not a human that says they can't do more. You can always work out. You can always do something. So I'm going to try it out. And uh, if you guys keep show, showing me support, I'm going to go hard for you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Just a quick update of the warehouse and why I've been kind of gone. But uh, great things are coming. I'm going to get a camera if this keeps going good. Get a good camera. Get a podcast area going. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's set up here to, I don't know. I feel like I have one of the best YouTube eBay setups. I'm sure there's people that have crazy stuff, but in the YouTube space, it's not that many to have like a, a, a crazy setup, but, um, yeah. Uh, by the way, my name is David Palaio guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. M massive things are coming here on this channel. So thanks for watching. Peace. I was going to make a video about me changing the desk and moving the racks and all that stuff, but we're already like at. 10 15 minutes so if you're still watching this go and watch my following video so now it's two videos see i'm, I'm pushing content now see but yeah guys i'm gonna keep recording for today but what i just explained right now is one youtube video watch the next one and that's where i move the racks and get this uh stuff at the home depot so yeah watch the next video